wonderful game for the neutral, but not just. It's not, it's not like it used to be in Greg's day, though, is it? <laughs> That's a great game for the neutral. Um, I think at the end of the day, Norwich were just too strong for today. Yeah, I think uh, Cobb had that great comeback 3 2. You thought, yeah, if they carried on. I think half time came at the wrong time for Cobb. Yeah, they wanted to carry on. Yeah. Norwich went yeah. in, to be fair, I think they controlled the end of the second half. But uh, yeah, maybe at the time, you know, Norwich's squad is probably a little bit stronger than Cobb's at the moment. Just one of those things, you know, I think it's, it's a good game to watch, so I enjoyed it. Just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, defending was crap, but it's an enjoyable game. Well, little thanks for that. Fuck off. You should be a double act, eh? Uh, Gentlemen, We were talking about this earlier, Greg, and knowledge you've got a, a thing where they go up to the Premiership and they get relegated, and they go up and they get relegated. But the money that they generate is incredible. And people were saying to me, oh, I wouldn't like to be like that. I would personally, but the money that would be available and the parachute payments, incredible. I think that's the uh, bigger thing. Yeah, they've done it three times now. So if you think about it, they've made a minimum of 150 million quid. Minimum. The trouble is with Norwich is they're not spending. You know, I think like uh, when they got the moment the last time they spent 47 million quid, but they got 40 million quid in for Buendia. So they didn't really spend it. And yet they keep saying that they've had to use that money to stay afloat. Having said that, they must be probably one of the only clubs in the country that got no debt. They've got no debt at all. But then I don't know, like my son, he supports Norwich, you know, and, and sometimes they say they prefer to play at this level, see him winning most of the games, or do it well, rather than playing in the Premier League and losing every game. But I just seem like, if you get up to the Premier League, you've got to have a go at it. But Norwich never seem to have a go at it. They seem to go up there, think, we'll take the money and go back down again. Which, I think, <laughs> yeah. you know, to the fans, if you're going to go up, you've got to have a go and stay there. But uh, that's their, their policy. I mean, it's the first time you've been up this season, Greg. Um, I know he's a great supporter of the former players. Comes the legends, then the golf thing. But anybody in the Coventry team, you thought, Jesus, that's a good player. Well, I love the fellow, I can't pronounce his name, but I love the, the jockey of his name, Look Fun. I can't believe for a tall man what a great turn he's got, guys. He's sent for gravity. He does well. Alan, I like. Alan gives you 110%. I think he's a good player. But you've got to say that defensively today, that Norwich at times, they came through the defence, through Cole's defence too easily today. Yeah, and I think, be just to see him on another day, but uh, today I think there was, there's too many players that had an off day for Cole to be up there. I think uh, Norwich have always been a little bit loose defensively, which allowed uh, Cole to get back in. But at the end of the day, I think when they go to bit forward, Norwich were just too strong from today. And Pookie is quality. Pookie is a quality player, I mean he's what, 32, 33 now, but he's still, his pace, he's still left the, you know, the centre half a dead, so, it's a tough one, it's a tough one, I think, um, God got to reboot and go again, but do well, we quite keep, they'd have won today, they'd have got, a, I think, a point behind Norwich, with a game in hand, so, interesting, but, they'll be okay. Yeah, if you say, I think, we're talking now with the fans over here, I think we're missing McFadden. Yes, yeah, okay. definitely. Michael O'Hare and all these other lads. Here. But it is, you, you're like me, we like an old fashioned centre half, like Brian Kilkenny, like Mick Fadden.